this is Ray French uh, here at uh, Langtree Park in uh, St Helens and uh, I'm hoping to put before you 13 great players on the day in 13 different Challenge Cup finals that I had the pleasure of recording for television. Fullback, Chris Redlinski, Wigan 21, St Helens 12, 2002. The match was played actually not at Wembley but at Murrayfield thanks to uh, Wembley being uh, refurbished but Chris Radlinski gave a tremendous performance in attack and especially on defence despite having been in hospital all the previous week with a septic foot. Winger Jamie Sandy Castleford 15 Hull KR 14 1986 Castleford edged out Hull KR by just one point and it followed with a spectacular try from the tiniest man on the field, Jamie Sandy. After a break by his uh, co-centre, uh, John Joyner, he raced down the pitch, great determination, great running for such a small man to get such a big try. Centre, Eddie Cunningham, Hull 14, Witness 14, 1982. Before a 92,000 crowd at Wembley, these two teams just could not be separated. And Witness were grateful to centre Eddie Cunningham, whose two tries set up a replay at Ellen Road. Unfortunately for Witness, Hull ran out worthy winners by 18 points to nine in the replay. Centre, Joel Lydon, Witness 19, Wigan 6, 1984. A then record six overseas players took part in this final on both sides, but it was Witness's England centre, Leiden, who provided all the thrills, with two sensational 80-yard sprints, displaying all the pace and poise that he needed to open up Wigan's defence. Wing, Martin O'Fire. Wigan 26, Leeds 16, 1994. Martin proved the hero in Wigan's defeat of the Yorkshire Challengers when he shattered Leeds' hopes with two touchdowns. His first in the 13th minute, often regarded as one of the finest ever seen at Wembley. Standoff, Brett Kenny, Wigan 28, Hull 24, 1985. Believed by many to be one of the greatest Challenge Cup finals ever, Wigan's Aussie halfback Brett Kenny was rightly handed the Landstod Trophy. His attacking display at standoff and his brilliant solo try nudged Wigan ahead. And that's where they stayed. Scrum half, Robbie Paul. St Helens 40, Bradford Bulls 32, 1996. The Bulls halfback Robbie Paul picked up the man of the match Lance Todd trophy as the first scorer of a hat trick of tries at Wembley. His best effort, nine minutes from the final whistle, saw him beat four Saints defenders on his way to the touchline. He was superb, and yet, amazingly, he finished on the losing side. Prop forward Paul Broadbent, Sheffield Needle 17, Wigan Warriors 8. 1998. The Sheffield Eagles captain, Paul Brawbent, led from the front and steered his team around that pitch well. The Eagles defeated the 14-1 to odds-on favourites Wigan to the incredulity of all the crowd. Paul, a strong, hard-working prop, inspired his teammates and he never shirked the hard work in midfield. Hooker, James Lowes. Bradford Bulls 22, Leeds Rhinos 20, 2003. Cardiff's Millennium Stadium proved a fitting venue to a thriller of a match between the two Yorkshire greats. Hooker James Lowe's, especially in the closing minutes, worked tirelessly in defence when Leeds threatened to snatch victory away from the Bulls. Prop forward, Apollo Perellini. St Helens 32, Bradford Bulls, 22, 1997. The Saints prop helped his club to gain their first successive Challenge Cup wins with a fiery and strong running performance up front. 
Whenever a tattle or a drive in midfield was needed, Apollo was on hand. Second row, Dennis Betts. Wigan 13, St Helens 8, 1991. Dennis was outstanding in both attack and defence for Wigan against the Saints pack, which had proved itself a handful during the rest of the season. He played his part too in Frano Botica's early 12th minute try. Second row, David Hobbs. Featherston Rovers 14, hole 12, 1983. As Featherstone upset the odds on favourites to win the cup final, Rovers second row David Hodds became the first forward to score two tries at Wembley. Loose forward, Ellery Hanley. Wigan 27, St Helens nil, 1989. Wigan's total control over their rival St Helens was amply illustrated by Lance Todd Trophy winner and loose forward Ellery Hanley. He simply dominated the match and crowned his performance with a memorable 26-minute try in which he beat five defenders on his way to the line. That's 13 from 13 finals that I had the pleasure to commentate on.